What's going on, everybody? If the video is low, I'm probably going to have to kick up the volume a little bit onto it. Um, my side's been killing me. And I'm not really my side, but like real low, like intestinal area down that way. So I'm thinking I'm getting ready to pass another kidney stone here. So uh, I might be talking a little bit lower than normal, but I'll boost it up. Hopefully it sounds good for you all. Um, sorry about that. Back in 2010, being in Afghanistan and stuff. We were doing a lot of missions out in the heat, and you have all your gear on, so it's hard to keep water inside your body from sweat and all that. And you, when you sit on a hilltop or something, and you're eating these high-protein drinks and getting little cans of Rip It like a Red Bull and stuff, yeah, you probably start developing them, and then once you get them, you're done for life. So, <laughs> But let me get into what the video is about, but I just wanted to apologize ahead of time in case the video sounds low and then you hear it like get jacked up a little bit. It'll be me playing the volume on the, uh, whatever they call that thing, equalizer thing on the uh, program. All right, so this came out two days ago, roughly. So as you guys probably read across the board, PSA graded a reprint Cy Young as a real PSA 2 with a certain number and everything onto it. I've had a talk with a few people onto it. Um, vintage is very, very hard to just like look at pictures and pick out if it's fake or not. A lot of times you got to feel it, smell it. I would say taste it, but that's kind of going a little bit overboard there. Again, this is brought to you by Blowout Forums. Um, you know, I'm always bouncing around different things, reading, trying to make myself more aware and trying to spread the knowledge out there. But the PSA slab is slabbed and labeled. Let me just read what it has. And they're both authentic and untampered. So the, I, recently there was another one that this guy just hit up, and it was the Opeachy Gretzky rookie that just sold on eBay. It was a fake. But more going into this uh, Cy Young. Let me pull up the thing so you guys can see, too. Boom. Let me give you a little bit of control plus here. Okay, I lied. It has to go on the other side here. Control plus. There we go. Look, well, we'll go one more. I can always bring it down afterwards. All right. So, as you guys can see, I'm going to scroll down here onto this. This is the card here. Just graded. Sold for $3,700. And, I mean, I looked at it first. And I'm like, I thought the color looked off onto it. But then again, if you use scanners and all this other stuff, sometimes the colors look off on the pictures. Now, me seeing this brand new here, I probably would have been like, oh, well, it's an authentic card. But in this day and age, you can never be too sure about anything anymore. Now, I'm going to show you guys here why it's a fake, too, because this guy brought it, broke it down real, real well. So it came out of Arlington, Texas. This guy also got in touch with the uh, seller of this card. And at the time that he posted this, originally, the guy never responded back. I believe when he looked into this, everything else around it was a modern card, too. If I remember the whole article going through this. But a lot of people are blaming all this stuff getting through. And, I mean, you can read what it says. Appear to be yet another case of teenagers of PSA, a.k.a. inexperienced new people, you know, just getting thrown into the job. And I agree with that to a point that, you know, they're hiring to meet the workload. But a lot of these people have basic knowledge. Maybe they bought packs of cards back when they were kids, and they think, oh, this is going to be easy, you know. But I do give them credit for trying to do their stuff out there. I'm not too sure the reperc repercussions onto something like this as well, with a greater dose through this. But something like this here, you would think, would be passed to more of your senior graders than, like, the newer junior ones. They're doing like the ultra modern or maybe even some modern stuff too. But let's see here. Oh, wait, it does talk about here. Uh, studying the seller's items for selling. It's obvious the rest of the cards yep, it were modern and ultra modern. Okay. So, like I said, they really looked into this a lot. Um, I'm going to scroll down here. I probably should have muted my work computer behind me. So, if you hear it beeping, it's telling me that, like, basically, uh, I need to get back to work, even though I'm off. Uh, okay, this is still a pick. Oh, okay, this is where he's going into it here. 
So this is the reprint right here. They blew it up real nice and big. And by looking at it, at first when I look at this, the, the ink and the pattern looked off onto it, which would have made me like really question it to begin with. And what I'm talking about is if you look at the face, it, it looks newer of like a newer model printing this off. And then they take the card, put it in an oven or whatever to get the little, what I call the brown crusty stuff on it. And the green just looks off as well, too. So that was the first thing I looked at. And I, I would have been scared of buying this card to begin with, whether it was raw or not. Here's the back. Notice right down here. There's supposed to be, I forget what it says down here, but there, there's some at the bottom of this. And I do apologize again because normally I know what it is, but uh, massage just like, okay, <laughs> feed me the magic pill. <laughs> All right, so let's go down. Some more onto it. You can see there, like it was something like you raced off of it. It's just weird looking there. All right, so here's an authentic one. Now, look at the dots on this. This is like the old-time stuff. Now, if you notice by looking at this here, you could tell this is the old dot matrix stuff that you would have been printing off of from back in the day. And trust me, it does change through the years. But when you look at today's modern stuff that's you being used, you're going to notice the difference. That's why I said the face looked different along with the green. Um, but this here, to me... When you look at it, you can just tell that it's an older look to it. Here's the reprint. Notice how these are more bigger circle with a white like little speck in the middle. And it's going through the whole thing. So I'm going to do it like half and half. So you guys see how these dots are. And you kind of can see this here. And I'll put a link to the article in the description just in case it's not showing up real well. But big difference there. Now the other thing, like I said capital reprint that's what should be at the bottom of a capital reprint i knew there was something I, it wasn't hitting me right here's the altered reprint text removed so it's just showing it we do have a lot of stuff that's passing through psa i mean bgs even hga i mean we don't hear much about sgc but you got to think it's not just due to the fact of the of them trying to push cards out. You've got a lot of new people in there that have never probably seen these cards before except for in magazines or in some show. And they don't know the difference between what's real and what's fake out there. That's probably the biggest issue I see. I don't think there's somebody in there that, you know, currently that's like, and it with a few people saying, I'm going to find their stuff and grade it because I'm pretty sure I worked in a warehouse before and I retired for about six months. And you would have to be that supervisor of the shift to get with your team leads when you're pushing out like what batches are going to which person during that day to do. I mean, it is totally possible of doing it. Don't get me wrong, but it's a lot of effort to where you have to have like the supervisor, the team lead, all in the cahoots with it, along with the person that's doing the grading. Just because of the way that the eSAPI program works, and then even if you get into like Red Prairie stuff like that there. Although Red Prairie really measures time of work more than anything. But this is a real good article when you look at this. I mean, people are like, wow, this is crazy that this even went through. I'm sure this is going to be addressed by PSA very quickly, too. I haven't seen anything. I haven't really heard much on to it. But it's just really crazy that we're seeing this. I was still in shock by it because of everything going on. So here's the cert number and stuff here that they're talking about. The one thing I wish is when you did these, I believe Beckett tells you when it was graded, like the day and all that stuff on. For some reason, I don't think PSA had it, but it, they might too.
But you can see people are like, wow, print dot matrix and stuff onto it. it. It's really hard. That's why I do bring magnifying glasses with me. And for an example, the gentleman that I bought those cards from uh, on the last show, you know, just like those five, five cards, he had a lot of vintage. And I told him, I said, I, I wouldn't want to sit here and go through your vintage. He goes, man, I'm scared anymore of it. Because those guys there used to buy the stuff by lots or, you know, they find somebody says, hey, I got this whole thing. What do you give me for it? You never know. And I mean, there's been times where I bought vintage before and it's measured up to my cards. But somehow along the way, I missed like somebody colored in a piece onto it and it came back altered on me. So I'm really, I guess you could say cautious when buying this stuff at the same time frame i'm looking it over very very hard if it's raw and graded now too because there's stuff in slabs out there that's just getting passed through even if a junior grader did see this like i said or somebody brand new there should be multiple people looking at this that's why you have a quality check one to make sure it's all there and i think the first thing is if i recall correctly they have to make sure the card's authentic I don't know how it passed that, to be honest, but just something I wanted to show everybody. This has been like, this is something that's gone on. I want to say it got posted Sunday where people were talking about it, but just the dot matrix itself, because you could pull this just with a regular magnifier and tell that, you know, the dots are different. So if you recall when Eric from GMG came on and he was given a couple of different products with the lights and the handhelds, this is something you could go purchase and look for yourself. And if somebody at a show, a dealer questions you, hey, they, they should be being like, yo, right ahead. Here, you want to come around the backside of my table? I'll give you a little space here to do it. Because otherwise, you know, I got people are like, oh, you know, you, you think all my stuff's fake. No, I just want to make sure it's real. I'm not saying that you're selling fakes or anything because some people might not know. But I, I mean, most of the people that I know, if I'm going to look at vintage, they know I'm going in pretty hard on it anymore. Just because of stuff like this, the trimmings and everything else that's going on. But hopefully this, you know, helps educate a little bit out there with the difference with the print onto it. They call it the dot matrix thing here. and gives you guys a little bit of an idea of what to look for differently. And then, like I said, this isn't blown up real big. I'm guessing maybe... Maybe 10 times, because I know they uh, they they expanded pretty good too, but I'm pretty sure the 10 times magnifier, you're probably going to come close to picking this out. If not, I know the scope would automatically onto it. But that's really about it, everybody. Wanted to share this. Like I said, link to the whole thing will be in the description. If you guys want to read through all the comments onto it and stuff, you're more than welcome. Please don't go onto eBay and blow this uh, seller up, because I'm guessing the guy didn't know any better. I mean, he didn't have a whole ton of stuff. It was all, you know, vintage going in. He probably just tossed in his order and said, hey, let's see what he gets. I I'm not sure. But that's everything, everybody. I will catch you all next video. If I don't come live on Friday, everybody, just for maybe an hour or so, have a good, safe 4th of July out there. Be careful on the roads because last year, I remember I went out and uh, coming home, it was a war zone, coming back with fireworks everywhere. But... I'll talk to y'all uh, for sure the following Friday live if I miss anybody this weekend because I will be doing some pre-grades too going on just so I can clear out my uh, office a little bit. All right, everybody. I'm really gone this time. Take care.